I don't finger my nose. <laughs> I like how that's the first thing that I said <laughs> when we start recording. Don't finger You did that on purpose. T-Lander's blooper reel. Well, no, I, I, I was telling you not just... <laughs> For the first time, I was finally able to dip my toes into Doki Doki Literature Club, and it was a trip. For those of you who don't know, Doki Doki Literature Club is a psychological horror game disguised as an anime dating simulator, and I even did a few Let's Plays for it if you want to check that out. But there are lots of scary images that are graphic, shocking, depressing, and highly triggering for some people. So kids, if you're watching this, click on another video right now, because you will have nightmares and your parents will hate me. Seriously, don't, don't watch this. Now I'm usually not a fan of horror stuff, and I knew what I was getting into when I first started this campaign, but I definitely wasn't expecting it to be this terrifying. There was so much fourth wall breaking that was going on and I was not ready for it at all. And on top of that, Monica has no bones in her back. Like nobody stands like that, where is your spine? What really made my skin crawl was all the glitchiness within the game. All the graphics and sounds just glitching out like that, like that's meta scary. Cause it's not the end. Oh my god, what is that? Wow, Sayori's. It's Sayori. <laughs> No, isn't it's it's Sayori. <laughs> I will say that each character is written out very well, especially in terms of personality. Yuri, being a prime example, is this shy, quiet girl who is definitely into dark literature, but her gothic nature is fully covered by her sweet and innocent demeanor. However, it's not until you progress deeper into the game that you find out she's a depressing, bloodthirsty psychopath. I just can't get over Yuri's eyes though, like I literally couldn't sleep for days because of that. Stop looking at me like that! It's very important to mention that this game is free, which makes for a good value given its quality and tone. Now, each experience is dependent on which route you take, which pretty much emphasizes the magic of a visual novel. You see, every choice creates a different story every time you play. It's not like one story plot where everything is happening in a straight line. This game, much like all other visual novels, have a massive branch of possibilities that all conclude with a different ending. It could be good, it could be bad, but the overall story is what makes it interesting. It's pretty cool to see all this hard work be made and available for no cost at all, because when it comes to a scary visual novel, this game definitely does its job. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, no. oh, here it is! Jesus Christ! Seriously though, Doki Doki Literature Club is a good out of the norm horror story with great art styles and a thrilling narrative that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Don't play it! Oh, you saw that right? What? what? Her eyes, her face, her eyes were dripping blood <gasps> I didn't when see she jumped. I didn't <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that little bell if you want to see more of my good stuff. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, always remember the name, T-Lander.